Dear students, welcome to mathematics class. And for today, we want to talk about statistics. I guess statistics, we are looking at mean, median, and mode. We are looking at mean, median, and mode on the group data. On the group data. That's what we are going to look at it today. Mean, median, and mode on the group data. Let's take an example. The question says, The table below shows the ages of students in JHS SS3. So we have the table as this ages in years, ages in years, now number of students. This one serves as our frequency. So we have it like this. We have between 10 and 14. 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So this is what we have. And for their frequency, we have this one to be 3, this one 12. 20, this one 3, and this one 2. So at this point, we are asked to use the table to find, we have got 1 here, mean, we have got 2, median, we have got 3, mode of the distribution that's for question A. Question B now says how many students how many students uh, are at least 12 years of age. So there's a page. How many students are at least 12 years? 12 years. Okay, let's take that. Right? I mean, 12 years of um, age. So let's have it now. Now, this is the question I would really want to solve. The cell. The table below shows the ages of students in the SS3. Ages in year, we have between 10 and 14. Those who are 10 years, they were 10. Those who are 11, they were 12. Those who are 12 years, they were 20. 13 years, 3. And 14 years, they are 2. Now, so we should use the table to find the mean median amount of distribution of this table. And I said that how many students, how many students are at least 12 years of age? So those who are 12 years, we need to look at those people too. So at this point, we are going to use group data. So if we are using group data, it's going to be in the form of the table. So let's try to solve this problem. Let's try to solve this problem. So in the course of solving this problem, we'll get our tables. So it's going to be age. Who is going to be our x? We have what we call frequency. It's going to be our f. We have what we call f of x, and we have what we call c of f. I will explain this as we all know. The ages there we have 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. This one we have it as 3. The next one we have it as 12. The next one, 20. The next one, 3. The next one, 2. As long as we, we have to look for the summation f. That is, we have to sum all the f. 3 plus 12 will give us 15. Plus this will give us 35. 
plus 3, 38 plus 2, this will give us 14. So we call solution F. Now, how do we get Fx? That is F multiplied by x. F multiplied by x. That is 10 multiplied by 3. This will give us 30. The next one, 11 multiplied by 12. 11 multiplied by 12. By that, will give us 132. 20 multiplied by 12. This will give us 240. 3 multiplied by 13. This will give us, uh, this will give us 39. And 2 multiplied by this one, this will give us 28. So let's have the solution fx as we all know. 30 plus this one give us 132. We have uh, 162 now. Plus 240. This is 2. 0. This is 4. Plus 39. This one give us 1. This one give us 4. 4 and 28. This one give us 9. 6. 4. So this one give us 4. 69. That is the solution. F is looking for 469. Now, the next one, because it's on the group data, how do we get CF? CF means cumulative frequency. That we are going to cumulate the frequency. Now, how do we get this CF? The first one will remain as the frequency here, which is going to be 10 for the cumulative frequency, as we all know. The second cumulative frequency will give me. This 3 plus 12, 3 plus 12, this will give us 15. The next cumulative frequency will give us 3 plus 12 plus 20, this will give us 35. The next cumulative everything, addition of everything down to this place, 3 plus 12 plus 20 plus 3 will give us 38. And the last one, 3 plus 12 plus 20 plus 3 plus 2 equals to 40. The total value for cumulative frequency, which is 40, should be equal to our solution F. That is how to get the cumulative uh, frequency. The final value, which is 48, should be equal to 48. If this value and this one they are not the same, something was wrong with that addition, either from this place or from this place. So we have to check it. Since this one is 40, this one is 40. I think there is no problem with that again. Now, let's take those questions one after the other. The first question says we should look for the mean. Mean. Mean A as long as it is summation fx over summation f. Summation fx over summation f. Our summation fx is 469. 469 divided by 40. We will now divide it to the lowest step. This will give us. 11.75 years. And based on this, let's round up this one to the nearest whole number in years. Which is going to be for us 12 years. So our mean is 12 years. Let's take note of that mean. Now let's take the other question, which is our median. Median. For the group data, for the group data, we have the formula for the median. For the median, which one must summation f plus one over two times th? That is the formula for the median because the question is from the group uh, table. Anytime you hear the word table, that's what we make it to be on the group data. And on that group one, this is what I'm going to do. This is the formula for the median that we need to do. Now, this summation f plus one over two is summation f is equal to 40. Which is everything as 40 plus 1 over 2 th. th then is times 40 plus 1 will give us 41 over 2 th. And we divide 41 by 2. This one will give us 20.5 th. Now, for us to solve this problem with the median, what are we going to do? This is 20.5 th, it's still not our median. We will now use the cumulative frequency to trace this value. That is, where will this value fall into as we all know? This is 20.5. This is 3, which is less than this. We will look for the first number that is greater than this number. Let me call it again. The first number that is cumulative frequency that is greater than this number. This is 3, which is less. So the median can never be here. We go to the next one, which is 15. 15 is less than this one, so we are not going to pick this one. 
the first one that's greater than this number, which is this. You will agree with me that since 20.5 times is going to fall within this range. It's going to fall within this range. Now, it means we are now tracing this one back to this place. So, 20.5 tenths fall into this place of our cumulative problem. That is why the cumulative problem is very important. But now we are talking about the group data of the statistics of mean, median, and mode. So, 20.5 fall here. Now, before I go ahead, let us assume that this one is uh, 36.5. We cannot pick this one because this one is lesser compared to this. So we are not going to pick it. We will pick the next one that is greater than this number, which is 38. Let us assume that this number is, uh, this one is about, let's say, is 15.510. With this one, that that is more than this one, we are still going to pick this one. I are going to pick this one. But let us assume that this is 14.5. 14.5. Yeah, we are picking this one because this one is greater than this. It's going to be the first one that is greater than this value. That's what we are going to pick. So, since so this is 20.5, which is greater than this number. So, then we I are mean, picking 20.5, which is less than this. This one is greater than this number. We are picking this one. We will now trace it back to this place under our x. With this, if you trace this one of 20.5 and fall within this place, from this place down to this place, therefore, Medium equals to 12 years. That is all about the median. Now, and at the same time, as one, well, the mode, the mode, the mode here means the highest occurrence, which is the battery that they are to for mode. Mode means highest occurrence, occurrence of the frequency. Which frequency of almost there? 10 occurs 3 times, 11 occurs 12 times, 12 occurs 20 times, 13 occurs 3 times, 14 years occurs 2 times. Then this one is still the one that is having the highest. Definitely. Therefore, our mode is still the same thing as 12 years. Now, if you look at our answer, about million and million, million and mode, the answers are just 12 years. Sometimes it happens like that, that the same answers. Be the, the, the answer for the median and mode will be the same. But sometimes it might not be so. But this one is the same thing. Both the mean, median and mode, the value is 12. The value is 12. Now, let's take another question. The other question B. Question B says at least 12 years of age. That has been at least 12 years. Of age. Those who are at least 12 years. When they say at least, it means 12 and what? And above. 12 and above. 12 and above means that 12 is inclusive. 12 is inclusive. At least. At least 12 means from 12 and above. When they say at least 12, so from this place, we look for those ones that the values, the frequency are at least 12. This one is 12, this one is 3, this one is 2. I want to explain something. There's something called exactly, if it's exactly 12, it's going to be this. Because exactly 12 is this. Below 12, or you know, at most 12. At most 12 means before 12 down to 12. It cannot go beyond 12. At most, that is. The one that's more, you know, the number between the starting point down to 12. That's at most. But this one is like at least 12. At least 12 means from this place. Those who are 12 and above, that's one by at least. For instance, that's okay. Those who are in the class, if you have at least 12 years and above, stand up. It means 12 will stand up, 13 will stand up, 14 will stand up, and so on and so forth. So, because this person said at least 12 years of age, indeed we have how many students are at least 12 years of age? We have 20 plus 3 plus 2, which is 18 as 25 students. They are at least 12 years and above. So, that is all we want to discuss this morning. Let us give us a work to do, just an assignment. Just as.
our assignments. So we should not forget that whenever we are talking on the group data, group frequency, we are going to use the formula under the uh, median, which is solution F plus 1 over 2 TH. So let's take this assignment. On the assignment, the cell that several below shows the weight of students in a particular class. In a particular class. So we have weight like this. It's in kg. We have number of students. We have number of students. So we have it from 48 to 55. 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. So this is all we have. So let's see the frequency and those questions I asked us to look for. Under this one we have 5, followed by 7, 12, we have 4, 6, 5, 3, and 8. So the question says we should calculate it. The one, the two, medium, and the three, we have mood. And the question B says, how many students, how many students um, have weight of, let's say, Let's look at this sign. As we all know that this sign, what we call this sign in our inequality, we use it to solve this problem. And at the same time, how many students? Many students have weight less than 51 kg. How many students are going to be at first down to one cage? On this note, we want to call it a day. Just work on the assignment and we'll meet the next class. Thank you and have a nice day.